morning everyone my name is crystal if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe i'm here in my flat in rochester alexa good morning good morning and alexa what's the time please the time is 9 38 a.m and alexa can you give us an inspiration alexa an inspirational quote of the day Here's one from Martina Navratilova. Just put one foot in front of the other and don't worry about the length of the path. Once you get on that path, and the longer you stay on it, there eventually will come a time when you will not turn back. Right, Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 9.38 a.m. Right, guys, so I got up. I made myself get up. I don't feel so tired as I did yesterday, thank goodness. And um, I was pottering about, getting on with my business, and my mum rang the phone. And my mum answered it. Is that you, Ginestra? I don't know, is it? Is it me? Is it? <laughs> and then my mum said to me, she said... Um, uh, like to be gentle with her because she doesn't feel very well. My mum doesn't. Uh, she said she she feels like her head is heavy. And I thought, right, okay. And I, I just let my mum speak. And then it was about 30 seconds and the call ended. I was going out to the co-op today anyway because I needed to get coffee and something healthy to eat for lunch. Um, so I threw my rubbish out into the bin store, because we live in a block of 15 flats. So you've got the bin store. And then I walked up Corey's Road to the Rochester Riverside Co-op. Um, and I just was a bit, you know, I just hay fevery. My eyes were stinging. So I goes into the co-op and Kim's in there. And so she says, hello, how are you? And I said, fine, how are you? And she said, same old, same old. And yeah, it does. It repeats itself every day, everything. Like the Truman Show. Same people, same things. Like my diary, which I didn't write up yesterday, by the way. So it'll be two days of writing up the diary when I finally get to put pen to paper. So I grabbed the black basket and I'm going to show you what I've got. So we have a toffee yogurt, West Country cream. We have three yuzu drinks, because they're one pound each at the moment. Strawberry, chocolate, and banana flavour. And remember that Easter is coming up, isn't it? Easter. And it's Good Friday on Friday, so it's Good Friday. So I've got to make sure I get everything before Friday <laughs> including my home shopping delivery so we got some innocent smooth orange juice which is part of a meal deal we've got the tuna mayonnaise sandwich on white bread which is part of the meal deal and we've got eggs and mustard mayo, which is part of the meal deal. We've got some thin sliced chicken. And we've got some thin sliced honey roast ham. Because I can do baked potatoes and have a bit of ham and some baked beans on top. Uh, this is a treat. There's no sweets. There's no crisps. So, Happy Easter, Lady Barba Cupcakes. Lady Barba Cupcakes. 
and um, let's just so sheep lady barba cupcakes that's a treat for easter and i've got myself an easter egg and it says dark chocolate is good for cholesterol dark chocolate not plain chocolate dark chocolate so we have a fair trade chocolate honeycomb egg and it's got the future is fair and co-op is supporting cocoa farmers and their communities to build better futures through a woman's leadership and empowerment program in the Cote d'Ivoire. It has a high amount of saturates, but it is Easter. So this egg is an intense, dark and creamy blonde chocolate blended and studded with crunchy honeycomb and a hint of salt made with fair trade chocolate so I thought I'd try that that's my Easter egg I'm not really keen on Easter eggs to be fair but I've got one because it's dark chocolate and we've got Nescafe Latte and we've got the Daily Mail which is an interesting read this morning two older women on the front two famous older women nadine doris and it's got on the front page nadine you are a very sexy woman call me why at 66 men are suddenly telling me i'm so desirable so says nadine doris And then we've got somebody else who, this was the lady that interviewed Prince Andrew. How I landed BBC's car crash Prince Andrew scoop and now Billy Piper is playing me on Netflix. That's 22 to 23 of the Daily Mail today. So this is a lady that interviewed Prince Andrew. Um, Thursday, November the 14th, 2019, she says, I'm in the south drawing room at Buckingham Palace with the back of Prince Andrew's head to the left of my line of sight and the presenter and interviewer, Emily Maitlis. Pen in hand, wearing a green khaki military jacket, black trousers and open toe heeled boots directly opposite me. And at the time, she was a 46-year-old junior TV producer and this is about to become one of the most analysed and talked about broadcast moments ever. So, and that's the lady who's playing her, Billy Piper, on Netflix. And that's the woman who interviewed Prince Andrew. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably read out the piece on Nadine Doris, it's who's sexy at 66. And finally, I got this gift wrapped begonia, which was eight pounds. Very eastery colour, very bright orange and yellow. And that is that will brighten the flat up, won't it? That's really, really bright and lovely spring Easter colours. Um. I'm going to have to put that out of the way because when I come back, my cat will have probably torn it to pieces. 
and we also got a Dice Towers scratch card. Um, I just looked at the scratch cards, I thought just choose one crystal and I thought I'd choose this one. So, good morning everybody, the sun has now come out and um, I hope everybody has a lovely Tuesday and I'll see you later.